I'm Chevy. Today, let's discuss how I make this show. Hello, friends. Welcome to the shed. It's Wednesday, and I'm totally over my grumpy mood from yesterday. Technology conference today went well. It, it, there were some good sessions. There's some amazing vendors there. Of course, the food's great. But uh, I really had a really good time today talking with people and hanging out. Um, but I, I think that part of my disconnect with the conference uh, that I was trying to convey yesterday, and I, I might have lost the message completely, was that like going to a board game conference or convention, as we call them, is like yeah, I'm going to go to a convention and I'm going to get to see vendors and I'm going to get to go to seminars and play games and whatever. Whereas going to a tech conference is like, I'm going to be sitting and talk and somebody's going to talk to me for a day. And there's a, it's a totally different feel. And I wish like, I wish that we could have that same energy at a technology conference that we have at a board game conference. Um, especially in my state, we, we really need it. We need a boost a swift kick to bring us into the 21st century. But anyway, that's not the point. Today's episode, uh, I have one one topic on my list of topics that I haven't got to. Uh, ben Nicholson asked um, to do a video about editing. And Ben, I really, I do appreciate the thought because it took me a while to figure out how to do a video about editing. I don't think that this particular show, the, the format of this show would be good for just an editing tutorial and how I use, I use Adobe Premiere Pro for those of you that wonder and I don't know that I could, that I could sit and just in 10 minutes show you how I edit. There is a lot of nuances every day. Each episode is a slightly different edit depending on what I mentioned during the show. Do I have to put in cards here or there? Do I have to put in, you know, a video here or subtext there or social media links here or whatever? All that stuff has to go into consideration. Where I cut and end each day has to go into consideration. So every episode is slightly different based on more or less just feeling. And even when I do larger videos that have a whole bunch of edits, it's still, I just kind of feel my way through it. So I don't know that it would be interesting enough for me to sit and do that. Now, I'm not opposed to doing a tutorial series in the future on different aspects of how I edit. If that interests somebody, I might do that apart from The Daily Shed, like the weekend project videos that I used to do. I might do like a series like that where I do some editing stuff, but, what I have done is put together a short movie <laughs> for you that shows you my editing, not my editing, my process in putting an episode together. I recorded this last Friday. Uh, it, I actually had a lot of fun recording it. It was interesting to set up the shots while I'm literally setting up for the show. That it was, I didn't stage this, uh, this video. It was literally this was me doing Friday's show. So before each element of me putting the camera up, I had to be cognizant of filming me doing the normal things that I do to make this show happen. Um, so after mulling over your suggestion for a while, this is what I came up with. Enjoy it. I hope I think it turned out well, and I'm proud of it.
Chevy, and today let's discuss making a small fortune. <laughs> Okay, so I, I think that was fun. I hope that that was entertaining enough to keep you interested and show you essentially what goes into the making of this show and exactly how I go about it each day. It is something that takes roughly um, between an hour to two hours of my time each day, depending on how much the edit takes. The I don't count the upload as part of that usually what I do that I didn't show there. If you didn't know, the dailyshed.com hosts all of my episodes and as well as the podcast. So if you subscribe to the podcast, you're subscribing to the Daily Shed's feed. So I upload here and then I also upload the podcast information to the dailyshed.com. Typically what I do is I start this upload, I fill out the description box and all that stuff, and then I just grab the link put it on the dailyshed.com with the audio podcast uploaded, and then I just set that to release a few hours in the future. Normally my uploads only take a maximum of about two hours. It really depends. I live in, kind of in the middle of nowhere, and my internet service out here is, it's cable, but it's also one of the lowest tiers of cable, so I have very little upload speed, and depending on the time of day and the day of the week, and it, it can take a while. Most episodes, I'd like to say, take under an hour. I have had episodes take over three hours. So what I'll typically do is I'll, I'll you know, you saw in the video that it, Google estimates, like it's gonna take an hour and whatever to upload this. So I will set the daily shed post to go live two and a half hours in the future. It gives me like an hour buffer if something goes wrong. And then I can just walk away after that. So I'm not counting the upload time as part of my day recording this show. That's just a part of the, it's just a, it's, it's part of the formula. It's just, it is what it is. Okay. Um, so typically, this show is shot pretty much as soon as I get home every day. I come home, I've already got the show idea in my head, I've already worked over basically show notes in my brain, and then make the tea, come down here and do it. So, it's actually one of my favorite parts of the day, and I really had fun making the film, so I hope you like it. I hope that maybe, if it didn't teach you anything about editing, it was, you know, I condensed the editing down to just a few seconds so you wouldn't fall asleep. Um, but maybe it gives you some insight as to how my workflow, what, what my workflow is doing this. Um, but yeah, so I really enjoy it. Uh, if you are on Patreon, I did a vlog on Sunday and they got to see this early. They saw, uh, I put it in the vlog on Sunday asking for opinions. Um, so if you wanna see stuff like that earlier, 
you can subscribe to me on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chevy Dodd is the thing. It costs you a dollar a month. Um, you can unsubscribe at any time. And uh, you get to see the vlogs each week, uh, what I've been up to that week, some behind the scenes stuff like that. And we can discuss stuff more privately over there uh, about what's going on in the show. So I hope you'll join me there. But if not, again, I don't want to make anybody feel bad. Please continue to join me here every single evening, Monday through Friday. Watch the show, share it with your friends, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait. I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from Dazzling Latte. Check her out. Check out her channel. And if you want to be featured on The Daily Shed, please submit your own random fact video. The skull and crossbones flag at the top of a pirate ship is called a Jolly Roger. Not every pirate ship used a Jolly Roger flag. Pirates from the Bahamas had their flags specially made by a sailmaker's widow who took payments and brandy. 